Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Inside City Hall. And this is a really uh, glorious uh, edition because today we're going to talk about the celebration of New Year's Eve. You know, when I first took office, I said it would be a great idea to have a ball drop. And of course, only White Plains in New York City had ball drops. And um, I turned to our good friend Dominic Justy from Highland Welding, who's here today, uh, to create a ball to drop. And last year, that was just, so, we worked on it for a year, all of 2014. Um, and then January 1st, midnight of January 1st, uh, to kick off the uh, centennial celebration of the city. It was just such a wonderful uh, event. The ball came down right on time, it lit up. We had about four or 5,000 people on the street in 10 degree weather, and I wanted the city to adopt that as a regular city event, and thank goodness they have. So um, we're here today to talk about what's coming up this year. And this year, it's gonna, last year was our first year. We had to work out a few kinks. But this year, we're looking for something bigger and better than ever. And I'm here with uh, Kenny Lewis, who's very instrumental with the 75th Anniversary Committee this year, raised all the money for the uh, program, the, the journal, which is here without the hard cover. We have the final draft, and it, it's just a spectacular book. I would urge everyone to try to secure a copy. Keep it as an heirloom, because it's gonna be valuable. It's gonna be a, um, a look how thick it is, Kenny. It's, it's thick. It's how many 100, pages? It's 140 pages. So we're here with Kenny uh, Lewis, the owner of Old Fashioned Pizza down in uh, Croton on Hudson, and J.K. Fence. And I told him we needed a good pizzeria in Peekskill, and he's working on opening up pizzeria in Peekskill, right? Absolutely. All right. Um, so tell us what we have going on this year. Well, this year with the ball drop, uh, we'll be starting the, around 9 o'clock is when we're going to close down the streets so the restaurants can stay open. They have all their patrons come in and everything else like that. We close down the streets in the immediate downtown by the gazebo and the surrounding areas at 9. Then we do our test runs. There will be a DJ on stage around 9.30. The band will start. The band is Hey Baby. They'll showcase in the night. Uh, the MC will be Casey Morbido from WHUD. She's hosting our event with me. She's terrific. She helps us out. She gets us on the air. She, you know, she does a really good job. And next to me would be... Um, Dominic Juice to you, but I have one other thing. Um, that night on December 31st at 8 o'clock at the Paramount Theater, they're having a, a Broadway show, Rock of Ages. It's going to start from 8 o'clock until 10, I believe it is. Get on touch with their thing. It's par ParamountHudsonValley.com. Uh, Call the Paramount, and they're going to be sponsored with all the uh, restaurants. They're all going to have packages. You get to get dinner, you get a free drink, you get a discount on your ticket. So reach out to the Paramount. And then that show, um, after the show, they come out and watch the ball drop, right? Correct. And for those that don't want to go to the show, uh, I understand the Elks is having something. Yes, we ha we're having a party at the Elks uh, starting at 7 to 11. That's open to the public, right? Yes, that's open to the public. First come, once it's all filled, uh, that's it. Then you have to hit one of the restaurants. Tell us what you're doing, how much. Uh, the restaurants at the Elks, it's $75 a head. It's a full course meal at seven o'clock. We have an Arthur Avenue spread set up on two tables, and then we go into a main course dinner. And what's on What's on the menu on that? Thing? Uh, the menu would be flame mignon, chicken frances, and a fish. And then past hors d'oeuvres would be shrimp, uh, little mini hot dogs, all kinds of stuff. Okay, and then we're here with Dominic Justy from Highland Welding. Dominic. Uh, you helped out the city so much with the ball drop uh, last year. Uh, we're working with the same ball this year. Stan, the old ball that we used last year uh, was given to the town of Yorktown. Right. They want to do a little ball as drop. As a gesture of goodwill so they could copy. <coughs> so when they became copycats of what we do, uh, they have uh, an authentic ball drop, right? Right, right. They have an old so, ball. So they have the old one. But they have no fireworks. So we're urging people to come to Peekskill to enjoy the, enjoy the ball drop, the restaurants, and the fireworks show. Right. So Kenny, we, uh, the city did a little something different this year. Um, I think we're going to set up the stage in the same spot, which will give a perfect view of the ball drop up on top of the Hudson Room uh, as you look up over Ford Piano. But um, how if we also close down South Street 
from uh, the Hudson Room or Arthur Weeks Jewelers down to the um, corner, the first corner of uh, mm -hmm. Hudson Avenue and Union Avenue where they meet. Um, I'm sorry, Union and Nelson. Union and Nelson. Union and Nelson where they meet. So um, people standing there, are they going to be able to see over the uh, Hudson Room and see the fireworks up in the air? Yes, uh, fireworks are shot off by uh, Garden State Fireworks and Anthony Capacati, and that's on top of the uh, parking structure downtown. Uh, they'll be high enough where they'll be able to see them. So we're expecting a bigger crowd than last year? Oh, yes. A lot of people are talking about it. I heard people talk about it all year long. They wish they heard it came, but then they seen the video that Mike Miner did. He did a fantastic job. And I'd like to thank, you know, the Chief of Police and his staff, Brett Van Zam and Greg Rich for theirs, the DPW. They do an extra excellent job. And then some of our major sponsors, which would be like for the fireworks, it's Suburban Propane out of Mount Kisco. Then you have D. Bertolini's and Sons. You have Highland Weldon, J.K. Fence, McCarthy Loyal Firm, Frank Catalina, which is a good sponsor of ours. And thank you for giving me another check this year, Frank. Oh, anything, anything <coughs> for you, Kenny. We have Wheeler Braider, White Plains Linen, Franzoso's Contracting, Triple A Carding, uh, Secret <coughs> Steelways, John, Joseph Nodone Funeral Homes, Ford Piano, Hudson Valley Charter Bus, which is also chartering a bus. We're going to be able to pick up people from the train station and bring them up to a temporary bus stop located at the old library on South Street. They'll be dropped off there, and we'll be hoping everybody will park down by the riverfront, and we'll be shuttling them up on the shuttle bus provided by Hudson Valley Charter Bus Company, and they'll be dropping them off at that makeshift uh, bus station on South Street. So um, I'm glad that you mentioned our contributors and our sponsors because uh, this, as you know, the city of Peekskill is a little tight on money. Our finances are not the greatest. Um, but we are recovering uh, from the difficulties that we've had over the past couple of years. But the city is not incurring any expense uh, to put this on because the expenses for the fireworks and the ball drop are all paid privately. Uh, the Hudson Room is uh, installing the pole at their own cost and expense. Highland Welding, of course, they've been in Peekskill for how long, Dom? Uh, almost 75 years. 75 years. Your father or grandfather started My that? My father, yeah. So uh, they are big supporters of the city of Peekskill. They put the, the, um, the ball together. They designed it, they built it, and they put the lights through it, and um, they do that at no cost to the city. And of course, Kenny volunteered your service to knock on doors and drag checks out of people, right? Yes, thank God I know a lot of people, and they've been very generous, and they help out. You just ask them. And there's a lot more um, donors who donated. We're gonna make a list and provide it to Mike Mine, and he'll put it on a TV thing so everybody gets the word out, Casey's, also going to put it out on the radio. I just want to say one thing about Dominic Juicy. He's a very good friend of mine. But Dominic's father put the cross on top of the Assumption Church. And when you look at that cross, you're going to be able to look at the new ball where Dominic put the flagpole up in the Hudson Room so you'll be able to see father and son in a row. <laughs> All right. And that's a, that's a great tribute to uh, Dominic's father. Um, they used to have a big billboard up on top of the Hudson Room building. Right. right Dominic, are you right. using any of that We're steel using structure? Part of that structure, right. So it's, e it's easier, so they don't have to drill into the roof. Right. I was talking to Mr. Lanza, and he was a little concerned about uh, cutting into the building, right. but they don't have to do that now, so that's great, yeah. uh, that's great news. Um, so, Dominic, how, how, was this the first ball that you built? Well, last year was, yes. We, uh, we uh, designed it a little differently this year, so it fits over the top of the pole. But... Uh, about the same size and all the same lights and uh and you have the 20 the 2016 that's down at the bottom the stage right right and that's great oh, um yeah. you're going to sync that with WHED Kenny <laughs> yes fireworks display absolutely Casey's going to be mentioned a lot on the radio I just want to give some thanks to some of my uh committee members which is uh Larry Gomez Lisa Oral Diane Marazino Joe Marazino Mike Sheriff uh, Marcos Javier Max Javez and Brendan Lindsay Fitzgerald, Barbara Pohill, and there's a couple more, I just can't name them all right now, but they will all get recognized at the right time. Well, I want to thank you on behalf of the entire city of Peekskill for the amazing amount of volunteer work you do. You know, for me, it's easy. Why don't we have a ball drop and then just point it off and let other people do a lot of work, and, and I just want to thank you sincerely because of course, it was the mayor's idea, but it was you guys that really made it happen. And I want to acknowledge you that it would not have happened without your help and without you stepping forward, and especially to uh, shake trees. And asking people for money is like the worst thing that I can do. I, I, I'm not good at it. 
and that's why I probably will never get into any elective office other than Peekskill. But uh, it's very difficult raising money uh, for these things, especially this time of year. Uh, but um, I just want to thank you and I want to thank our major, I want to thank all of our sponsors, but especially our major ones, uh, Suburban Propane and uh, the McCarthy Law Firm, because they really come through. And of course, D. Bertolini, D. Bertolini and Sons, uh, they just bleed peak skill. They, you know, no matter what it is, no matter what kind of a project we're doing, no matter what kind of an event we're having, no matter who's having it, um, you make a call down to Dominic Bertolini and the entire Bertolini family, and they have always been there for peak skill every single time. Not one time have they ever said no, and not one time have they ever not been more than 100% generous. So I want to thank them again uh, from the bottom of my heart, and all citizens of peak skill. Thank you, Dominic um, uh, Bertolini and your entire family. And, and you guys just really make it happen. So I can't thank you enough. Thank, thank you, you so much. And we'll see you New Year's Eve. Right, you know, we had four or 5,000 people down there in five degree temperature. The way it is now, it looks like we're gonna have 40 or 50 degree weather, right? Oh, it's gonna be an awesome night. And we're praying the weather's gonna be good and it's gonna be a lot bigger crowd, I just know it. And troublemakers stay home. We didn't have one arrest. We didn't have one incident uh, last year. And we're hoping to maintain that record. Uh, we're not going to have uh, police uh, all over the place. We have a great city, and everybody knows each other, and we're welcoming our friends from Cortland and uh, all the surrounding areas and people that want to come in and have a good time. Peekskill is here and open. The restaurants are open. Hudson Room is having a special menu. Twelve Grapes, Quiet Man, The Gleasons, Birdsall House. Uh, who am I forgetting? Division Street Grill. Division Street Grill, La Valletta, um, all of the ethnic uh, restaurants, La Conquistador, uh, Panera, well, Panera Bakery, Panera Bakery. Um, Carlos of uh, Ravador, the restaurant. and of course our good friend Ruben Alvarez, Ruben's yeah. Cafe, yeah, yeah. can't forget Ruben, wow. and um, the uh, new um, the new restaurant that opened up across from Quiet Man, and the Caribbean restaurant. So come down and support our sponsors that support us, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody there. Right? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have a safe night and. Please come down and join us. Okay. So this is Mayor Catalina uh, thanking you for watching this edition of Inside City Hall. I want to thank Minor Productions for a great 2015. Uh, Mike produces all these TV shows. And uh, Mike, he's always there for Peekskill. And thank you so much. Because I'm happy.